Hey guys, what's up? This is Red Black Productions, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to use the pan crop tool in Sony Vegas 13. So let's get started. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to drag a picture into Sony Vegas 13. You can also crop with video if you'd want to. So let's drag this onto the timeline, and now we're going to use the pan crop tool. So I'm going to hover over it here, and you'll realize that it comes up with event pan crop. So by left clicking into this, we come up into the menu. Now, one thing that you may realize straight away is that even though it's 6 seconds and 15 frames into the timeline itself, the pan crop timeline starts from the very beginning, and it always will whenever you open it up. So that's one thing you've got to be careful about. So how do we actually crop this picture? To do so, it's very easy. All you'll do is simply hold down the left click button and drag it inwards to make the image larger, or drag it outwards to make the image smaller. So what you'll see now is that it's going smaller and larger. So that's the basics of cropping already done. Now then, there's a few other tricks and tips I can show you as well. For one thing, if you hold down shift, you actually make it go down in lots and segments. And this is very good for precise cropping. As you can see here, it does it very evenly. Say for example, you have it that wide, and you want to make it right back to the very tip of the picture. Sometimes it can be hard to find exactly what it is. So by holding down shift, you can get it straight up to the very edges of the picture. So that's just a little easy thing to do. You can also adjust the position here with this little menu part here. So what this does here, this will affect the entire height of the cropping. And you see here that it gets bigger and bigger if you drag it to the right. And if you drag it to the left, it gets smaller and smaller until it actually reverses. So then you can have a completely reversed image here. So let's just bring that back to where it was. Now there's also a few other things you can do. You can do the height, which makes it larger or smaller, reversing it again. So I'm just going to use shift again. Shift is a very easy way to put the cropping back to where it was. You can use the X, and this, this here adjusts the X position of the crop. So by moving it to the right or moving it to the left, that's pretty much what that does. So that's a very easy one to use. Also, we have the Y center, and this moves it up and down. So you can move it down and you can move it up. The position here is very good for precise cropping as well. This here, you can get the cropping down to the exact pixel you want it to be on. Next we have rotation. To start off with though, you can do rotation manually by going outside of the crop, left clicking, and moving it to the left or to the right. And as you'll see, this crops it very quickly and very easily. You'll see that it also changes over here when you crop it. Zero is the default. So by going to zero, you can reset the crop. And you can also reset the, you can also crop the um, anchor tool here in the middle. You can crop the X center of the anchor tool. So as you'll see here, it actually moves around. Or you could crop the Y center of the anchor tool. And that'll move it up and down as well. I want to try and see if I can keep it just about in the middle. You can also change the keyframe into location by using this tool here. You can bring it up to 100 at the maximum. But I'm going to keep it at zero for now, where it was. You can also keep the aspect ratio by using these. So that there actually changes it to fill the whole frame. But the picture itself is distorted. So to maintain the aspect ratio is to maintain the actual image itself. So the image looks normal like this. But if you want it full screen, you can hit no and get it full screen. If the image doesn't manually go full screen. And you can also stretch it to fill the frame. Which I usually do do. Now there's a few other things you can do as well. You can actually just zoom in the workspace itself. But that's something you can do as well by using the middle roll clicking thing of your mouse. Or if you're on a laptop, this is how you zoom. There's a few other ways you can zoom as well by using the zoom edit tool here. So by clicking on this, your keyframe, your mouse is now changed into a zoom tool. So you can left click and you can right click to zoom out. So that's also another basic way of doing it. You then have this tool here, here, which enables snapping. And what this basically does, by going back to the mouse here, you'll see now that we can only zoom in the way with Shift would have done before. So instead of having to hold down Shift, by clicking on this tool here, it now does it manually. However, you can't precisely zoom in and out now. So let's turn that off. And what you'll realize now is we now have smooth going down and up with cropping again. So that's pretty much it. You have a few other tools here, such as this one, which means when you click this one off, it doesn't crop to the center anymore, but rather 
crops to the opposite end of where you're cropping to. So you'll see now that we're not really cropping evenly anymore, but it can be interesting to play around with this tool as well. So I'm going to get off that one, put it back on, and you also have this one here which blocks the aspect ratio. Now let's say that the crop is over here, but we want it back to the exact center because we can move it roughly back to the center, but by using even shift tool, you'll find that it's not really properly going back full. So how do we get it back to the exact center? It's actually really easy to do. All you gotta do is just double click, and you're back to the exact center. And then you just gotta play around with it a bit, and you'll find that it goes back. Now there also is another way you can do this, and it goes the same for the um, rotation. By double clicking, the rotation goes back to normal. That's pretty much all the cropping tools that you got around there. There's a lot to play around with, and you can get it very precise to how you want to crop it. Now how do we actually pan? To pan is even easier. Let's say you've cropped the image like this, so that it's like that, but you want to pan it outwards to show the whole image. All you got to do is simply choose the keyframe by moving it down, choose exactly where you want to be on the timeline, and then hit another keyframe here. By doing this, we now have a new keyframe and a new position on the timeline. Once you're here, you can then move the image to the full size. And then it'll actually pan from the beginning to where you want it to be. So if we exit this and we watch it now from the beginning, you'll find that when we play this, you can see that we've now successfully panned the image. So panning is very easy to do. So that's how you crop and pan in Sony Vegas. Like for more videos and thanks for watching.